We have seven cores inside just one. We start with a fighter jet. Next, we go for a tank. After that, we create a helicopter game. After that, we will go for a ship game with the ocean. After that, we will go for Chaos Destruction to make everything destructible. After that we will create a FPS game that we have a boss fight there. Next we go for a platformer course. that you saw a glimpse of all the seven courses let me explain each one of them in detail in this course we're gonna use a fighter jet from vigilante content that is always free and it is a f-18 we will learn everything about the bones how we can change the wings ailerons and rudder rotation so our fighter jet looks more natural we will learn how we can take off how we can close up our gears and open up the gears as well how we can land and after that we learn how we can shoot any target with a tag system we will learn lots about ui in this course so whenever you shoot a missile it will show it to you that the missile is not there you can't shoot anymore after that we learn about enemies so for doing that we have a radar and we have a missile system that the radar will find the target and let the missile system knows about the target and the missile system will shoot a missile at its target if it didn't hit the target again it will shoot the next missile to it in this course we're gonna create a tank game first we stop with the engine and the wheels so we can move for a tank next we will have the wheels animations we will use animation blueprint and chaos plugin for our tank so we have the cool animations we will have a turning place that have its good animation we will have handbrake so whenever we are moving we can stop much faster we can do lots of maneuver with our tank next we will go and try to shoot the gun of our tank so wherever our boss is aiming at we can shoot them we will have lots of visual effects for shooting or not like some nerd effects and some recoil so whenever our gun is shooting the gun of our tank will go back and forward and whenever we shoot our gun there will be a force an impulse force applied to the body of our tank next we will go for sound so whenever our tank is moving we should have right sound for example if it starts moving when our tank is stuck there should be idle engine sound and whenever it is moving based on the speed the sound of the engine should show that it should sound like it's moving faster right the engine breaks off right we should have that sound next we will go for some ui for example the cross sail ui and at the right of it we will see if our gun is reloaded or not and at the left side of it we will see the health bar of our tank and on bottom left side of our game we will see rotation of our turret our tank can be destroyed so we will include that as well after that we need an enemy to be able to shoot at us right so for doing that we will create a artillery that can shoot at us we can predict where we will be after 
beautiful second for example and it can shoot there so if you head over high and you can destroy that artillery as well this artillery will have lots of visual effects for example the shot wave that every time the artillery is shooting there should be a visual effect for the shot wave effect and after that there will be a recoil for this one as well so the gun goes down and up whenever the artillery shoots and at the end we can destroy the artillery so without any further ado let's begin this course in this course we're gonna create a game that we can fly a helicopter we start from creating a project we will do the wheel setup so the wheels of our helicopter moves as well we will have hand brakes for those wheels as well next we go for engine setup how we can take off this helicopter and with that we will have some visual effects like blade rotating and Niagara visual effects for the dust beneath the helicopter we will have some sounds with that as well so it will sound more natural in this helicopter we can go left we can go right we can go forward backward we can turn right and left as well after that we will implement a missile system so we can shoot at whatever we want and for doing that we need an enemy so we can shoot at it so for the enemy we will create a anti-air gun blueprint so with that we can head over helicopter and destroy it this anti-air gun can shoot at our helicopter if the helicopter is in range and it will rotate so it will face the helicopter for our anti-air gun we will have visual effects and sounds as well and whenever some of these bullets hit the helicopter you will hear the sounds of its head in the helicopter as well after that we will have some ui for example help crosser and the amount of missile that we can shoot so we don't have further ado let's begin in this course we learn everything about creating a ship that can go through ocean or sea so first we create a ocean and after that we import some files for our ship and with that files we create our ship and we add some pontoons to it so it will float on ocean after that we will use physics force to go forward go backward go left go right and with all of these we have animation for its blade so when we go forward the blade will rotate and when we go backward the blade will rotate backward right next our ship has a gun so we can use it to shoot at our enemy with our gun we limit it so it won't be able to shoot at our ship and we have a zoom capability as well because our ship can shoot far away next we add some ui and crosshair and health bar to it next we need some enemy so for enemy we will use a artillery for our pitch so whenever our ship go in front of these artilleries they will shoot at our ship and whenever they shoot at our ship it will have some physics impulse added to our ship and it can move our ship our anti-ship gun has lots of visual effects and sounds so for example whenever it shoots the value will go forward and backward at the end we create a ship destruction as well so if our health reach zero our ship will be destroyed after that whenever we shoot at our enemy our enemy will be destroyed so let's learn how we can do that without any further ado let's begin in this course we're going to talk about destruction building destruction or whatever destruction we are start with creating a apc that can go forward backward left right it can shoot at the stuff and it has handbrake as well we create that for testing our destruction system after that we go to some basic stuff for example some sphere how we can make them destructible after that we will talk about how we can change the damage threshold of them so some of them we can hit them by car and it will be destroyed and some of them because the damage threshold of them is a lot we can't break them easily and with this damage threshold it can resist the explosion as well so some of them we destroy much easier and some of them will destroy much faster we will talk about how we can change the strength of these explosions after that we will go to anchor pits or we can use them to stack things at top of each other after we learn all of these basic stuff we will go and create a building where building have some columns some glasses some woods and some concrete that each one of them has different damage threshold so for example if we hit at the middle of our building where there is no column it will be destroyed a little bit but it won't be collapsing but if we hit a column it will collapse and whatever that is based on that column it will collapse as well so if you want to add some destructibility to your game let's just start this course together In this course, we're gonna create a FPS game. We start with how we can look around and move around. After that, 
we will add a gun to hand of our character. Next, with some tools in the Pigeon Blueprint, we will add a crosshair without using any texture or image. Next, we go for the animations so we can run, we can walk, and we can walk and shoot as well. And we have aim down sight so we can look at the scope and shoot. After that, we will add some visual effects, some sound whenever we fire our gun. Next, we go for reloading our gun. As you can see, it looks awesome. The reloading will have a full sound as well. Next, we go through a in-depth UI design for our ammo system and after that for our health and shield bar as well. Next, as an enemy, we will import a Kraken skeletal mesh and we use an AI controller to control our Kraken so it can chase the player, attack the player and kill the player as well. And we can kill the Kraken too. Next, we will have some items, for example, ammo, health, shield, so we can pick them up. And for that, we will create a modular blueprint for the item. So if you put one of these items in the level, in there, you will decide what these items should be. So let's just start this course. In this course, we want to create a go up game. So based on how much you go up and how many coins you collect, you will have a new rating, right? So we start from creating our character class that it can move it can go left, right, forward, backward, and everything. For example, whenever we move to the right, it will lean left. Whenever we go left, it will lean right. After that, we will implement the jumping. After that, we will add jetpack to it, so it will be easier to go onto the platforms. Next, we create some platforms, and we start with a door that whenever we get close to it, it will be open smoothly, and when we get through it, it will be closed automatically. Next, we will create two type of elevator. First elevator, if you go at top of it, it will bring you up. The next elevator, if you go at top of it and you don't get off of it really fast it will go down so you can create lots of platformer with it next we will have a fan that with this fan whenever you go at top of it it will shoot you in the sky like any fan right next we have a stomper that if it hit you it will throw you off off of a platform after that we go and create a platform a smart platform that has a spline so you can decide where this platform go and get back and you can create a lot of motions really easy with this platform next we go through the ui we will have lots of things for, for ui for example you can see at top left corner we will see the height that we are in in the right side again at the progress bar you can see the height and you can see the max height and the amount of money that you collect for our rating now let's just start this course together